Ms. Harmon, what do you say to those in the Chess Federation who accuse you of being too glamorous? I would say that it's much easier to play chess without the burden of an Adam's apple. Hi, my name is Gabriel Binder. I am the costume designer of Queen's Gambit. What do I do with this? Is your match over? Yes, I won. That was fast. After reading the first two episodes, I ran to uh, grab some literature about chess, uh, like uh, Bobby Fischer biography, because I thought I should find out how chess players really feel what's important for them. So I understood if you play chess, you like this sculptural thing, you like something clear, you like something graphical, you like black and white. I thought that should be in the costumes also. So it was clear we don't go for pattern and flourish and stuff like this, but something what is decisive, like just plain color or just checked or striped or something what is straight. You should see the places they play in the Soviet Union. I'm planning on it. I thought during all this travel to different places and playing chess there, she learns from the places. She watches people and she understands more about herself and she's growing, you know, she's growing from this kid in this kind of uh, dresses to uh, somebody who knows suddenly uh, my femininity that works. I love it and I can work with it. That was the idea of the, her whole fashion story. Someday you're going to be all alone. So you need to figure out how to take care of yourself. You know, we had as our starting color for her this very light green with these shoes because it makes the small girl after the car crash very fragile and you see her arms and you have the feeling it must be too cold for her and she really looks fragile and helpless. So that was her first color. And this green come in later on in the color of the pills. So we thought this should be kind of her home color and it has to come back later. So it came back in Paris, for example, in her weakest moment when she is running out of the hotel room, has overslept, has a hangover and has this important game, what she will lose. And later on in Moscow, we used the same color again to give it her as a home color and to use the same color what makes her weak in the beginning to make her strong later on. So for the last game, we have exactly the same color as in the beginning with the car crash and she is finally uh, arrived. This idea came when I saw the location. When he showed to me, I thought, ah, this rose growing stuff there, this looks like a chessboard because it's so cubic. So if she's walking on this board, she has to be the chess queen. We talked about it and everybody said, ah, oh, yeah, good idea, let's go for it. It was like snow already was falling on it. It was a little bit fluffy. It had a really nice texture. So. First we thought maybe she has a head from white fur or something, but that looked really Russian. <laughs> so we made the head from the same fabric like the coat was. And then we found this glovey boots. <laughs> we just wanted it all white and there is nothing on it. You are very beautiful. I don't see myself that way. And you are blind. The red hair is actually a really strong color. And if you have red hair, you have already a lot of color in the picture. So I took out colors out of the wardrobe because I didn't want to have a clash or I didn't want to make a statement that she's somebody who really want to say, wow, here I am, because she is not like this. She is concentrated on what she's doing and she's just there. But I had to go a little bit backwards with the colors as if I would have done if she has brown hair or black hair or blonde or whatever. A red is really very, very strong and give you a punch. Also, we used only one time the red dress uh, in Paris as a special dress, what she bought also to impress her friend and that she feels sexy and that she realized something new about herself. Are you sure you want to do this? I'm sure. We don't have a women's section. 
I thought it could be a problem if we have too much sex inside because then we would say, who they looked at their cleavage and they couldn't move their chess uh, figures anymore. So we didn't want to go for this because we were sure that Beth really want to win because she's better. And she doesn't want to win because some guys were irritated about because she's a woman and she doesn't use the so-called female weapons. For her, it was not a problem to be a woman in the male world. And so we didn't want to fight with something what could be typical female strategy in this time. Uh, I've been watching your games. You, you attack like Alakai. I think my favorite character, of course, was Benny. And it was so cool that we bring Benny in and he looked like the musician and not at all as a chess nerd, but he was a chess nerd. And so it was kind of, you know, finding a mistake that is really cool. And, you know, if the actor then says, yeah, I love it, I go for this, let's do it. Then it makes the whole thing more interesting. I mean, I loved everybody. We invented a story for everybody, even for somebody who had only like two words to say or something. We always ask ourselves, okay, where is coming from? What he looking for in life, what he liking, how he feel this moment, and then uh, we discuss in the fitting. And usually, it's really a lot of fun with the actor and to find uh, this where he really feels like this the right thing for the moment. We try to give everybody a personality that is not just a chess player, but himself as a chess player. Am I good enough now? To tell you the truth of it, child. You're astounding. I like things that uh, make a circle, you know, like circling back this green color from the beginning to the end. Or we made another circle that was more a magical circle. Nobody really noticed it because when she playing chess with the old man in the end, we said, ah, this is like coming back to Mr. Scheibe. And so I said, oh, then let's give them the uh, cardigan from Mr. Scheibe and spot that a uh, good idea, but unfortunately it was so cold, so we had the clothes overcoat because we wanted to show that these men are really playing in every temperature, every day in their life. So we had to close it, but magically there was the cardigan of Mr. Scheibe in the last picture <laughs> on the old man. So that's something what I really love, you know, to make everything make full circle, bringing back things from the beginning because something, you know, something what was a, maybe a problem in the beginning, find a solution in the end.